The federal government today launched a new website to help people save on their student loans. Under a new Biden administration plan, some borrowers could see their monthly payments drop to nothing, while others will save money over the course of the loan's lifetime. Chris Wynn is in Washington to break it all down. With federal student loan payments set to resume in October, some borrowers are feeling the pressure. We'll manage, but we're going to have to tighten it up again. But relief could be on the way. On Monday, the Department of Education launched a beta website for the Biden administration's new SAVE program, an income-driven plan intended to lower monthly payments and reduce the amount paid back over the lifetime of the loan. Under the new program, income and family size will determine the payments for current and future federal student loan borrowers, with some payments dropping to $0 per month. To qualify for $0 payments, the income threshold has been increased from 150% to 225% of federal poverty guidelines, which translates to an annual income of $32,805 for a single borrower or $67,500 for a family of four. Other borrowers could see their payments cut in half and canceled after at least 10 years of repayment when the program is in full effect next year. The initiative comes after the June Supreme Court decision striking down President Biden's loan forgiveness program. I'm not going to stop fighting to deliver borrowers what they need. But the plan still comes at a cost to the federal government. Estimates range from $138 billion to $361 billion over 10 years, depending on how many people sign up. In Washington, Chris Wynn, KITV4 Island News.